Hi, this is Steve from Guitar Lesson Dojo with a quick overview on how to use Note Flight to play back the music that you are learning in your guitar lessons. Once you click on the link that I share with you for the song you are learning, you will see the written sheet music, or what we call a score, appear in your browser window just like what you're seeing here. To get started right away, all you have to do is simply click on the play button here in the upper left hand corner of your screen and playback will begin. Once you click that, you'll notice some other control options appear. The back button takes you back to where you started with the play button. The beginning button leaves all controls in place but restarts playing the song from the beginning. The pause button will simply stop the playback cursor where it's at, all the control buttons will stay in place, and when you press the play button again, play will resume at the beginning of the measure where you left off. When you press the stop button, the button will stop playback and clear all the controls, much like the back button. When you press the play button again, you will start over from the beginning. The next thing I want to show you is kind of a secret, so pay careful attention to this. Often, the scores that I share with you will have several parts. As you see, this score has not only the guitar part, but also a piano and a drum part as well. While the score needs all these parts, it's understandable that you may not want to see all these other parts. Well, fortunately, we can hide them. But doing so is kind of a hidden feature in Note Flight. What you want to do is hit the play button and then hit the pause button again right away. When the song is in play mode, you'll notice that this connect button over here in the upper right hand side of the screen has now changed into an instruments button. When you click on the instruments icon, you'll notice a menu appear on the right hand side of your screen with options to hide or show various instruments. By default, all the instruments are shown. You can either deselect individual instruments or you can select just the instrument that you want to play by selecting its radio button. When I select that, all of the other instruments disappear from view. By clicking on the page view icon in the upper right hand side of the screen, you'll see that you have four different views of your music. By default, you are at page view. You can also select strip view. You can select flow view or perform view. You can play around with these different views and find out which one works best for you. Note Flight has a bunch of other features that you can choose from, which I'm not going to go over in this video. However, I will point out one other important feature. If you want to change the tempo of the song, here's what you would do. Underneath the player controls, you will find this menu icon. If nothing is showing up in this bar right here. You would click on this menu icon and you'll see that you have a couple of different options. There's sound, there's view, and when you click on each of these they actually appear in the bar up here. If you click on the word they disappear. In the sound menu we have these different control. One is a mixer and one is a metronome and these two features are only available if you have a paid premium membership. Now I know some of you are already saying, hooray, we don't get to use a, we don't have to use a metronome. But this button right here that has the little lightning bolt and the 100% on it, if you click on that, it will open this slider. And the slider does, what the slider does is either decrease or increase the percentage of the original tempo. So if you're at a hundred percent, for example, like this song, uh, the tempo is 90 beats per minute. So if you're at a hundred percent, it's going to play at 90 beats per minute. If you click 95 or 90 percent, 
it's going to play at 90% of that tempo, so it's just going to be slower. Uh, it doesn't need to be real complicated, just know that if you go below 100%, it's going to be slower. If you go above 100%, it's going to be faster. So while you can't necessarily set the exact tempo that you would like, you can at least change the speed, change the tempo of the song to whatever speed is manageable for you. And again, you can make all of these features disappear by just clicking on their word and then click on the menu icon to make that disappear. And now, hopefully you are prepared to play back your scores in a way that helps you learn your music in a fun and enjoyable way. If you have any questions about these features, please feel free to contact me. Enjoy your practicing.